Welcome to the Whiskey Vault, I'm Rex. And I'm Daniel. Today we are diving into a single malt scotch whiskey. You may know it as Glen Kitchy Kinchy. Yeah, that's Glen right. Glen Kinchy 12. You got it right. But I also know it as one of the few lowland distilleries in Scotland making single malt whiskey. I think it's time to sommelier the shit out of this whiskey. Done. Family business? I do have family business. Uh, let me pour a whiskey, because I have a feeling this is going to take a second. <laughs> okay, <sighs> so, you may have noticed I'm wearing this shirt yet again. <laughs> That's where we're going with this? No, and, and, okay. and it's basically to the point where it is absolutely being confirmed. Daniel <laughs> waits for me to wear this, because I only wear it about once a week. Uh, he waits for me, a week? for me to wear this. This is not a nice <laughs> shirt. This isn't a go-to shirt. This is a random shirt. He waits until I wear it to shoot these videos, just so it looks like I have no other clothing. And here's and here's what I told you. He's like, Daniel, you know, you know, I've been wearing this the last million videos. We should wait until I'm wearing something else. Hey, do you have that shirt in your office? I saw it. It's hanging up in your studio. Go yeah. get that shirt. Hold on. Yeah. Because he knows. <laughs> he knows. Just so you know, he wears this Monday through Friday. Oh, hey. <laughs> Are you feeling self-conscious about the shirt? <laughs> I look like a sausage casing <laughs> made out of a tablecloth. <laughs> and he knows this. <laughs> he knows this shirt fit 20 pounds ago. You just wear that shirt. Fine. Fine. It's happening. <laughs> Wearing the shirt. <sighs> a sausage casing. That's a good one. Tell me about this. <laughs> I can't do it with a straight face. <laughs> Okay. This smells lovely, uh, by the way. Yeah. Interesting so, color. Okay. So, <laughs> so this is a 12 year old yeah. Lowland whiskey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, they yeah. They make fun of fat people. Yeah. Because they, they, they do here. They do all the time. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Diageo revived Glen Kinchy. There were a couple of Lowland distilleries still functioning Rosebank and Glen Kinchy. Um, the only other one that's easy to get is Akintoshin. Diageo picked, they shuttered Rosebank in 1993, and they picked uh, Glen Kinchy as one of their classic malt series. And uh, the speculation was that it was because Glen Kinchy had a, a lot larger facility. Mm. So if they were able to create demand, they would be able to supply the demand. Uh, whereas Rosebank would have required a lot of work to get it up to the level to supply the demand they hoped would happen. Now, I think they made a great whiskey. I made a fantastic whiskey. Here's the thing. I made yeah. the mistake of taking a sip while you were talking. Mm. And I had no idea what you said. Yeah. <laughs> Just, it's that good. Yeah. I mean, for those who haven't tried Lowland Distilleries, they really are their own thing. Um, they belong in their own category. Mm. Now, this is sometimes referred to as the Edinburgh malt because it's only 15 miles-ish outside of Edinburgh. And I appreciate how hard you're, you're trying to not look down. I, you know. You're looking everywhere, but it's like here. a... It's like a cleavage scenario. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're already getting inappropriate again. No, I'm glad this table is relatively high because if I ever have to bend down. No. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Did you guys hear the <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't his pants. Okay. Uh, <sighs> you brought this Deep on, breath. You brought this on yourself. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. What do we get in terms of the smell? What am I smelling? I don't know, man. I get light kind of biscuity flavors. There's a little bit of a smoke hint in there, but it's so light. Mm. There's some kind of um, fern, grass. It's very light, mm -hmm. but there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. It's not light and boring. It's light and complex. It's not light in the way that an Irish whiskey is light. Mm. It's light as in it's only hitting high notes, mm -hmm. right? So think of it in uh, music. You've got lows, bass, you've got mid-range, which is think of like piano, yeah. or mid-pianos, or strings, or things. And then you've got uh, treble, right? The high strings, the flutes, and the woodwinds, mm -hmm. and the things like that. High piano, those are treble notes, mm -hmm. right? This is living almost entirely in the treble note range of whiskey. See, we're back to making a playlist. Yeah, we are. Uh, a whiskey playlist. That One more thing to do. Nah, no, just have them do it. You guys make a playlist. Yeah, make a playlist yeah. for all treble note Glen Kinchy whiskey. Or just any whiskey. And uh, we'll share it in the comments or in the description of one of the videos. Wait, wait for it. Well, I mean... If we're pouring. Yes, might as well. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. You got a glimpse, didn't you? In your yeah, peripheral. I did. That's why he's laughing. I did. I looked down. <laughs> You're doing that on purpose. <laughs> Suck in your gut like any self-respecting man. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> what is that? There's that whole... Uh, I can't remember. The guy walks around on the beach like this. And then... <laughs> and something goes flying. <laughs> yeah, it's about like that. Mm. I think Captain Kirk wore a girdle. I'm in good company. Yeah, it's Spanx. You should invest in some Spanx. See, now we're going to get comments again. Yeah. I Well, Spanx are everyone's friend. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Leave comments. So what are you doing while drinking this guy? Ooh. That's I, a tough one. Mm. So drinking in public is a non-issue, right? This is all th <laughs> in the, in in theory. This is all theory here. <laughs> yeah. I would be on a ferry... Uh, going from in between the, the ferry between New York and New Jersey. Oh, yeah. All right. Just uh, there's nobody hassling me for having a little little sippy sip. You know why? That was really specific. Because they're so put off. Yeah. From the girth, they don't. You're even wearing notice. you're wearing that shirt on the ferry. This shirt. Yeah. People are a, giving me a wide berth. That's a real commitment. They only want nothing to do with me. <laughs> so they don't even notice that I'm drinking scotch uh. on the ferry. Hmm. For me, this is a, man, I don't know. This is a scotch I would drink with dinner because it wouldn't fight with whatever I was eating. Mm. See, pairings are always difficult for me because I find every time I'm eating food, it really throws off. Yeah, that's why I think this could stand up to it. Yeah. Because this is all high notes and I tend to order foods that are kind of fatty. And so that's going to be all low and rich foods. Yeah. So this would kind of live up there kind of sparkling and pretty still. Yeah. This is like the champagne of scotch. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of sparkly and effervescent. That was whimsical. That was whimsical. Yeah. All right, well, till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal. May you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers.